Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom Early Access Release. My name is Swoop there and we are here outside the Sauropod Lookout, which I built in my last episode. Still looking pretty good in my opinion. I'm still pretty proud of how this turned out, this habitat and building itself. Today we are building, as you would have seen in the thumbnail, a Smilodon habitat. Now we are going to build it over this side you can see I still have some free roaming mammoths over here that's a long story and they're probably gonna stay free roaming to be fair so if we look at the park from this side here we have the very large tropical house which still needs to be re-roofed because that is atrocious then we have the entrance building over this way the visitor center over this way this is the mammoth clifftop lookout over here then we have the cabins in the background you can see with their little plumes of smoke going up and then we have all of this space over here to build we also have oh excuse that auto save it always just jumps me around and then we also have this side over here we are yet to build for as well now i've been thinking a little bit about the lack of food in this park so we have a restaurant up the top here we also have a cafe here and then a restaurant up the top here so we kind of have this area of the park catered for in a sense but there is nothing over this side this side of the park's looking a little bit bare and then once you kind of get into the nitty-gritty down here there is not much down this way either so i am thinking of putting a little cafe cafe in here just a little open air one where people can just sit and grab something to drink or eat and I am going to put something on this side also but today we're going to build for the Smilodon and we're actually going to build over this side of the park we haven't been over here for a while aside from the cabins and I have a really good idea for the Smilodon I didn't want to build anything too big on this side of the park simply because when you are in this mammoth building you have a beautiful view across this way and it is like it's just stunning from whichever uh I guess if you're up the top here or if you're down the bottom you have this stunning view and I didn't want to build something down here and impede that view so I am going to build something but it is not going to be huge it's going to be I want to say fairly simple but my builds that I think are going to be simple usually don't turn out as simple as I intend so we'll see how we go I do have a reference picture to look at I'll pop that in here and we will see how we go so I'm going to jump into a speed build I talked to you about the Smilodon in the speed build and my building process and then I will see you at the end for the real-time tour see you soon guys hey everyone welcome to the speed build so I thought I would just quickly jump in here before I started to give you some Smilodon facts or talk about my building process I really wanted to say hello to all the newcomers to my channel thank you so much for subscribing I really really do appreciate it and also obviously thank you so much to all those people the OGs that have been with me since the very beginning I appreciate you guys so much too um, just a little quick note to say that if you are watching my content and you know you're coming back to watch more than one video it would be really appreciated if you would press that subscribe button simply because it does really help out my channel to I guess the YouTube algorithm to put out my videos to other people or to more people on YouTube so those who also might like to see this video but haven't actually found my channel yet it's really helpful when you subscribe you like a video and you also comment on a video it just tells the algorithm that this video is decent and more people should be exposed to it so more people can watch it having said all of that guys I am just going to move on now and tell you a little bit about the Smilodon because I am so so excited to have the Smilodon in game and a few other uh, prehistoric animals as well in game in uh, early access I am really happy to see that it, the game itself has positive reviews on Steam I was really concerned that people might be expecting this to be a really super complete game like Planet Zoo um, which it obviously isn't it still has a long way to go in order to be complete uh, but I was really happy to see that most people have been really kind on Steam and said it's incredible for where it's at and support the devs because this game is going to be amazing and in my opinion it's already pretty good so it can only get better. Anyway, let's have a little chat about the Smilodon themselves because I know a lot of people were really excited to get this Sabretooth cat in game and so was I. So 
What I think we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about when it lived and how big it was, what it ate and so on. And then I will talk a little bit about my building process after that. So long after the dinosaurs died out, the saber-toothed cats actually became, from what I read, the top predator in the prehistoric world, which I actually thought was a really cool fact. Uh, They are mammals and they're named for their long sword-like canine teeth. I also read that they are distinct or distantly related to modern cats but you guys will have to weigh in in the comments because I'm actually not sure of the truth of that matter I have also read that they're not related to cats whatsoever which is also odd to me so I'd be interested to see what you guys uh, know about the saber-toothed tiger yourself having said saber-toothed tiger I also read that saber-toothed tiger and saber-toothed lion are actually inaccurate commonly used names for the saber-toothed cat or the Smilodon. So I'll be referring to it as the Smilodon because that is the correct scientific term for it. Fossil remains of the Smilodon have been found on many different continents. So they've been found in North America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and South America. And the um, LA or California, I'm actually going to LA, fun story or fun fact for later on this year, but uh, California or the state of California has actually adopted the saber tooth cat as its official fossil in inverted commas, which is kind of cool. They had some really interesting physical features. So they resembled modern big cats in size and I guess in shape as well. They were a little bit shorter than the modern day lion, according to the research that I was reading, but they were more heavily built, which, you know, is, I guess, accurate with what the game is showing them to look like as well. They had a shorter tail than other saber-toothed cats, a bit more like the modern bobcat, I guess, and they had very long, long, long claws. They also had a strong neck and strong shoulder muscles, which I believe from memory when I was reading about them was actually to help them or their canine teeth when they were biting downward. So when they were doing that downward biting motion with their canine teeth, they had those strong shoulder muscles and strong neck muscles, which really helped the power of those teeth. Those teeth could get to around 20 centimeters in length, which is long, like you wouldn't want those sinking into your arm, that is for sure. They were meat eaters and they mostly hunted large prey that moved slowly. So I guess animals like the mastodon or the mammoths and potentially bison. And instead of chasing down their prey, it is speculated that they were ambush predators. So they more likely stalked their prey while they were hiding in tall grass. And then when a victim was to to come close enough, then they would pounce and inflict deep wounds with those really long teeth. Um, And then basically waited for its prey to bleed to death so lovely um but i mean i guess that speculation we can't be 100 percent certain however that is what the science is saying so that's some little facts about the smilodon for you guys now let's talk a little bit about this building itself as you can see it looks nothing like the reference photo that i showed you in the intro i wanted to build a restaurant because as i said in the intro also i wanted more food on this side of the park i know that we do have the vending machines but it just wasn't quite right for this area and i wanted there to be more of a sit down area for people to watch the smilodon from the restaurant if they wanted but also wanted the uh, option I guess for people to be able to bypass the restaurant if they weren't hungry or they didn't need food or drink and then just come down into this viewing area down the bottom so you can kind of walk down into the viewing area get a great view of the Smilodon like a really good view of the Smilodon and then um, you can leave as well without ever having to enter the restaurant I didn't include a ramp into the bottom viewing point of the Smilodon because you can if you were potentially I guess disabled or you couldn't walk or traverse any stairs then you can um like come through the restaurant itself to view through the restaurant and that would be allowed so I didn't put a ramp into that one I'm now building the Smilodon's habitat and it wasn't too hard I really was trying to be careful about the building itself to make sure that you couldn't really see it from the mammoth viewing building I didn't really want there to be like an eyesore from the mammoth viewing building because of the amazing views that you get in that mammoth viewing building I didn't want it to kind of be spoiled or ruined I also wanted it this particular habitat to have quite high security so we do have quite high electric fences I eventually go in on the front of the restaurant balcony and I do put in safety barriers to prevent the Smilodon from jumping up at the guests but also if a guest was to accidentally yeet themselves over the edge I mean they would be caught by those safety barriers and then they could clamber back to safety 
I also pop in some of these fences on the top of the rocks just in case the Smilodon could jump up onto those rocks but I mean once you see them in there they are a lot smaller than those rocks so the chances of them being able to clamber up there are fairly small however I mean I'm, I don't really know how good they were at climbing so we just wanted to be sure we just wanted to be safe. I also interestingly did not put any water like any pools into this habitat. Um, I was going to build like an implied water or fountain I guess drinking area for them to have some water from. Uh, it's the only habitat so far that I've built where I didn't put water in. I'm not completely sold that I don't want to put water in but at this stage I haven't and I'm open to suggestions whether you guys think it's needed. I did put in a backstage building and it is fairly well hidden from the guests. It's sort of over in the bottom depending on which way you're looking at the habitat I guess. If you're standing at the restaurant and looking out into the habitat it's on the left on the right hand side beg your pardon at the back and I kind of turn it into what looks like a bit of a cave from one side I wanted it to sort of look quite natural I didn't want it to have like a really ugly backstage building like most of the other habitats have so I did kind of cover it up with rocks as you can see I'm going in now and sort of putting a few rocks on the front and rocks sort of around the bottom and the base and then I do the entire door as well sort of cover that up so that it looks a little bit more cave like and then what I'm going to do in stream is go and actually really complete the backstage areas. I also want to do a few more small things uh, in stream. So I want to add some more signage around the restaurant. I want to add gutters on to the restaurant building and pipes so that it looks a little bit more realistic. Also a couple of little staff only signs, things like that that just really make these areas look a lot better. So we'll do all of that in stream together and then this kind of area will be quite finished. You can see I've also put a path all the way around the Smilodon habitat that is gonna connect up to the back of the tropical house. So we are getting there guys, we are getting there to, you know, almost getting Focola Mountain Park completed really. We've got maybe another four or five habitats potentially and then a few restaurants and cafes to throw in and Fakola Mountain Park will be completed for want of a better word and it'll be time to start a new project. If you have any ideas for a new project or you really want to see a particular area of the world or a particular theme please do let me know in the comments because I am really open to ideas or suggestions. I really do love this style like the style that I've gone for here is more sort of tiger with these ferns and redwoods things like that. I love this style but I actually feel like it is getting a little bit old now and maybe it's time to change it up however I am open to doing another park in this style as well. It would just need to be I guess the buildings would need to be a little bit different. I'd need to have some different inspiration. So if you have any ideas, as I said, let me know in the comments and I will definitely take those on board. I'm always open to those types of viewer ideas and comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. As I said earlier, everyone, I really do appreciate it. I think we have about four minutes left of the speed build now. So I'm gonna leave you to watch the end of that. If you do want to jump forward in time, to the real time part I will have timestamps on this video so you can do that and I'll see you there guys
Hello everyone, welcome back to the real time tour. I just want to preface this tour by saying that the exterior of this building is looking slightly under detailed at the moment in comparison to the rest of the buildings in the park. I'm thinking about doing that in a stream so I do want to put some pipes on as I said in the speed build. I want to do a few more things to the exterior of the building so it doesn't just look like a bit of concrete plopped down. But I wanted to do the real time tour so I could put this video out. This is about the fourth time I've tried to record the real time tour because my GE Force recording software had a little bit of a glitch and it just kept on glitching. I tried so many things to fix it. I finally managed to fix it. And so here we are outside the Smilodon restaurant. I don't really know what to call this yet, but I am going to give it a name. I'm also going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm also going to do some signage and so on so that, you know, people know that this is the viewing area down on each side of the Smilodon versus actually coming in the restaurant. Uh, so let's head on down that way. We'll go down this way and then we'll exit up this way. So we'll come on down. Don't mind that rock poking through. I'll need to fix that in the stream also. We head on down into the Smilodon viewing area and then here we are. So we have this whole kind of, I guess it's like almost like a cave or a cabin kind of thing. And you can come down and sit down here and watch them if you like. And, you know, we can see one over this side here. You can read a little bit about them on the signage. And then you can kind of look for or try and spy them. We've got a really good view of a couple of them here, which normally they're kind of hiding in the back. So, so far I haven't seen them down the front all that often, except when they come to eat. But if you were a guest today, you'd be really lucky. You kind of have them all in the front here or that one and then this one coming towards us here let's head on over and have a look at this guy there we go coming on through this way and then up the back here there's actually the this building here is the backstage building for the Smilodon so it kind of has their shelter hello mate and it also has like it looks like a cave so I wanted it to be a little bit more cave looking so that it looked a little bit interesting from the guest perspective um not so much for the keepers or the Smilodon themselves let's just zoom out a bit here and we'll hop up onto the restaurant um balcony I guess for want of a better word there's also some signage up here because this is the disabled access as well so you know if you can't traverse the stairs down to the ground level you can actually be up here and still have a really good view of the Smilodon you can see I've popped in these safety barriers here it is to protect the guests from falling in it is also to protect the Smilodon from kind of jumping out um, although I don't know that they would probably try that it is quite high in comparison to them to get sort of up here and there isn't really any climbable anything climbable because it is a concrete habitat so we'll just have a quick little look at the restaurant itself. So I've got some outdoor seating here and then the door that kind of leads into the interior. The interior is very simple. Like I, I mean, I don't make any um, promises that I'll ever be great at interiors, guys. I mean, I might eventually when the game sort of gets a little bit further down the line, I might actually start to dedicate some real time to interiors. But at the moment, I'm just really, I mean, I did make this custom table with chairs I wouldn't say they're probably my best work ever but we've got you know the interior seating where I live in Melbourne there's a lot of these shared kind of floating tables in the middle of places where you can kind of sit with a couple of friends and there's like some other people that you don't really know sitting around as well so there's these are really common in my city so I thought I'd pop one of those in then you've got where you can eat the toilets just here and then this is the front door exit down this way I wanted to pop in this kind of interesting entrance I didn't just want it to be a bit of a square box so we have that and then if we actually exit round, we'll go around sort of the sneaky staff way just go through here and then there's this little tiny kind of I want to say pathway this way where I've kind of just hidden it and I'm going to put a little rope across in the stream and staff can kind of sneak down here and then you have the staff entry point. So you have one here and also one here. We're also going to put, you know, some more detailing and some staff signs and things like that. And then you have the interesting windows moving back out to the front of the restaurant. I want to say that these ones probably aren't sort of catered for the restaurant. But if you wanted to grab a snack inside and then come outside, you can probably just come and have a relax out here. But it's not necessarily table service. And then you have the stairs down this side, which we can, which we can come up and down as well and then this side is actually unfinished as yet so if I zoom up I'll show you guys kind of orient you to where we are 
So here we have the Smilodon habitat itself and the backstage area, which is completely undetailed at this stage. And then we have the path leading down, once again, needs detailing and all the way up. Then you can see this is the path that comes down from the mammoth enclosure up here. So you kind of circle round and you'll come on down to the Smilodon and then if you want to bypass the Smilodon or you've seen them, you can either go up this way here where that path will connect to this one or you can go all the way around. And we're kind of going to have perhaps another building in here where you can view something very small. I'm not entirely sure at this stage. And then you'll come on through this way. There will be another small building here where you can view something. I know what that one's going to be, but I want that to be a surprise for you guys. And then there will be a bridge across the river here. You'll head on across the bridge and the pathway will lead down to the uh, tropical house behind the tropical house here. And there will be another habitat in here. And then this side of the park will essentially be finished, I think. Like once I get all of this backstage area done and I have my couple of buildings in here that I'm intending to build, plus my habitat in here as well. And the connection up to the tropical house, we're also going to put a restaurant in here. Uh, then this side of the park will largely be done. The last thing I need to do on this side of the park is actually connect up this path to the entrance point and I have made way for like to be able to do that I've moved a lot of the backstage buildings that were here down to this central backstage area uh, so that I could actually have a guest access road or guest access path that would walk that they could actually walk along through here so I'll be doing that in the near future also so guys thank you so much for tuning in I really appreciate your support this is the Smilodon habitat in its entirety and I will as always see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.